What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, my name is Joshua Plopper and normally I'm out at a lake trying to catch fish for you. But as you can see today, it's a little bit different. Uh, we're in my home. So what we're going to do today is I'm actually going to put together a kayak crate storage for you. It's been an issue that I've had for about a year where whenever I kayak fish, I don't have anywhere to put certain things like I don't have anywhere to put my camera. Um, I don't have anywhere to mount my phone, which is connected to my fish finder. And then like just things like, I don't know, snacks, extra lures, whatever it may be. So we're going to go through and we're going to build a crate to store in our kayak when we're kayaking. See you there. First up is the GoPro Casey. This is what I'm going to use to keep my camera and any other essentials dry while paddling. This case is weather resistant, so if I splash up a bit, anything on the inside should be okay. Rod holders are probably the biggest reason I decided to make this crate. My kayak is inflatable, so having loose rods just hanging around can lead to a catastrophe. I picked up a two-pack of these rod holders on Amazon for $12.39. We're going to hold this all together with zip ties so we can easily take it apart and reconfigure it in the future if we need to. I got a 100 pack of these zip ties on Amazon for $6.99. Last year, I didn't really film that much while kayaking because I didn't want to just have GoPro footage. I decided that this crate can also serve as a camera mount. I got the GoPro 3-way handle as part of a package when I got my GoPro, but it can also be purchased on Amazon for $59.99. I will be filming using my Osmo Pocket so I also have the GoPro mount for that camera. This three-way handle gives me the flexibility to get different angles and fold up completely for storage. I use a castable fish finder while on my kayak. In the past, I would have to take my phone out of a pocket in my life vest just to check it. I'll be honest, this made things a pain in the ass. Having my phone mounted on this kayak crate is a priority. I purchased this smart foam arm mount on Amazon for $17.98. It should allow us to monitor our sonar hands-free. I should probably try to stay as organized as possible since I'm already making a storage solution. I'll use this Bassmaster bag that I got for free with my yearly subscription to hold all of my soft plastics and extra line. The second most important thing that is going to go in this crate is my tackle tray. I have a Bass Mafia tackle tray which can be purchased through Mafia Outdoors for $14.99. This tray is dedicated to a variety of lures so I have a little of everything I need on board. I can go through and change this out easily, depending on the conditions. Make sure you hook yourself at least once while doing any kind of tackle storage solution. The last thing you'll need is a crate to put all this in. Now I've seen these crates on sale by various companies for upwards of $30. Honestly, you can just go find one of these behind a dumpster at a local grocery store. Just make sure you ask if you can take it first. Alright, let's get this thing put together. Alright, welcome to the new camera angle. I'm going to start off by mounting the rod holders. I want these holders to keep my tackle tray in place, so I'll place everything in the way I want it before I commit to zip tying anything. Once I have everything looking the way I want, I'll go ahead and zip tie these in. One thing that I need to make sure of in my situation is to put all the zip tie connections facing inward. When you cut the tag ends off these zip ties, it can be fairly sharp and I don't want that puncturing my kayak. Now that I have my rod holders and tackle tray set, let's mount the GoPro 3-way mount. I think having this right up front should work out pretty well, and with the pivoting arm I should be able to get some great footage. The GoPro Casey is next, this one's easy. Since I will want to be able to take this in and out frequently, I can just make sure it fits. And look at that, it does. The bait bag will not be going in and out of the crate, so I'll go ahead and secure it to the sides. This should help me unzip and rezip it using one hand. The last thing I'll add to this crate is my smartphone arm. This smartphone arm has a clamp on one end, and will easily and securely attach to just about anywhere on the crate. If you plan on following this build, I will recommend you get a shorter arm, as this one is 3 feet long and kind of in the way. With that being said, it will still work just fine.
Let's give this a shake and a tilt test to make sure everything is secure. And it looks like we're in business. All in all, this build cost me about $67, since Mrs. Plopper got me the KC for my birthday, and I got the three-way handle as part of a package. This should work for all of my kayak adventures. If you want to build your own, send me a picture of it to be featured on my Instagram. Before I end this video, I do owe a shout out from last week's video. Subscriber That Dude Neil has supported my channel since the very beginning and is just an all around great dude. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel, link in the description. Also, give him a follow on Instagram. That's gonna be about it for this week. Thanks for all the support, and if you like my content, it would be great if you could subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to give this video a like. See ya! Hey,